So, I had to restart my game, so I lost all everything I recorded. But I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. We're in the middle of another main mission. And Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Alright. As I was saying, I had to, I lost all my recorded video for the beginning of this, but we went back to the, the secret chamber and talked to the ex-headmistress. She told us we had to break into the headmaster's office, which is why we dro drank some poly juice or whatever to look like the headmaster. And then we had to go talk to her to go find out where our, our elf is so we could get the password to get in the headmaster's office. So, what did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? That's what we're doing. Shut up, bitch. I haven't <coughs> time for any of you at the moment. None. None yeah. at all. Move aside. But I had to restart my game because it was being stupid. It make me run around in circles. The headmaster, and he's coming this way. Shut up, girl. Can fast travel, can do anything. If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what? Professor? A what? Word, please. I'm super busy. Hello, Damn Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. So, uh, how's all that noise? Uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. Oh, I've gee. decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess, I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Uh, sure. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. What? <clears throat> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Good day. A wonderful yeah. job. Leeway for Professor Fig. You guys just Actually, beat the shit out of each other while we were talking, or what the hell? That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Oh. What was that? Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Where'd you hear? Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. Uh, How yeah. dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black 
family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Um... Uh, uh, it's to do with strength, it's to do with my family reign, it's to do with purity of... Purity it's of blood? pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And I knew it was something like course, that. As Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Uh, okay. So, oh, what do we do here? Ahem. Attention, students. I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the noble banners of Gryffindor. I shall be taking no quick. Now. Uh. Made it just. Uh. Ooh. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. I'm the best. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Quest complete. Ooh. Hello, Hamora. What again? Oh, nice. Oh, now we can fast travel. Look at that. Oh, look at that guy. Off on another adventure, are we? Here. Revelio. A lot of stuff in here I haven't gotten. What was that? All right, I need to come back here. I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Oh, got it. I'm in. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Rebellion. I knew there would be one here. Hmm. Got it. It's good to see you. All I made it. The professor. 
Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Uh, yeah. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Yeah, I'm right, we will. Under the headmaster's oh. nose all this time. Revelio. Give me that. And... Yeah. Why can't I pick that one up? That must be the pedestal. Did I speak the words already? Oh. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I this isn't my outfit. In this place, you may call me. Who? You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. Okay. The first you will need is a cloak. Where is it? In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll turn around. Sketch. I need to time this just right. Now, oh, come on. I'd best move while I can. Leave must be this. I need to time this just right. Last time he turned. Second time he turned. No, no, no. No one turn around. Yeah. Damn it. I see. A staircase straight ahead. What staircase straight ahead? Oh. That's a big one. How could this happen? I don't know. Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Oh well. I can't go. 
Go, 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 go. Why did I go up here? They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Um. That's where I need to go. Whoa. I need to find a way past them. I'm working on it, nerd. Come on. Look the other way. Good girl. Why are we going so slow? That's death. Does he not move? Nothing this way. Turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Get going there. Here we go. Oh, it looks like the only safe way forward. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Oh. Don't need that. Can we? Why are we? Oh shit. Oh shit. Now's my chance. Don't look. You see nothing. Found it. I think I'm invisible. Haven't I always been invisible? They can't see me at all. I can get nope. closer to them. Don't want to get too close. <clears throat> this is the way forward. Finally free. Well, I just here. Where are you, Neve? Now what? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. No. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Me neither. No, no. Bombard. Revelio. Oh, I can use Revelio. Take that. Defender. 
Oh, get wrecked. Took those guys out super fast. Descender. Take that. Who's left? Anybody else? Stupid dog. Defender. F up. Bombarder. Defender. There. Making her way. Big area. I knew it. Look at that troll. Another troll. Light work. Wait, you got something for me? Oh, that's not fair. Stupid dog. Me. Oh, got me. Oh. Take a drink. Get rid of these guys. Woo! Miss me. It's okay. Move it, dog. Whoop, miss me. Step off, dogs. Take that. Defender. That it? Throwing all the trolls at me they can. Dogs. Revelio. 
I guess there wouldn't be any treasure up in here. What we got? You got a centaur and seahorse. Got it. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. She's gone. What? Dead. what do you mean? Oh, poor Nee. I'm so young. <laughs> Neve. We won't be the same without her. Did I fail? You found me. You did not undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Okay. Show me your memory. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Okay. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Oh, Neev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Go down. What does that mean?
Is it true? Who's this guy? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. That's what to say. It seems we Go have talk no to the other choice keepers. but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Hmm. <laughs> he got a little drunk. Alright, so... Quest complete. Completed another trial. Like again, apologies. I messed up on my recording, and because the game the game was glitching, and I couldn't find the one professor. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your Damn it, Sebastian. Friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. There, I knew it would be somebody else. What do you have to say, Professor? Nothing? Alright. Again, apologies. Um, so always leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. And I'll check you later. Maybe we'll get in another trial. And this asshole will tell me what he has to say. But, until next time, peace!